So let's start. Number 10, the face outside the window. In 1985, aboard the space shuttle Discovery, astronaut Charles Walker experienced something that left him shaken. Late one night, as he floated near a window, he caught sight of what looked like a face staring back at him from the darkness. It wasn't a reflection of anyone inside. Everyone else was asleep. The lights were dimmed. Yet there it was, faint, human-like, with what appeared to be eyes and a mouth illuminated by the glow of the earth below. Walker froze. For a few seconds, he didn't move. He blinked, rubbed his eyes, and looked again. And the shape was still there, distant but clear enough to trigger the most primal kind of fear. He later wrote in his journal that the face slowly faded away after several seconds. When he mentioned it to the crew the next morning, they brushed it off as a shadow or optical illusion, but Walker swore it wasn't. I know what a reflection looks like. He said this wasn't one. Some have suggested it was space debris lit up by the sun. Others think his exhausted mind created the image after days without proper sleep. Still, when he described the expression on that face, calm, almost observing, it gave people chills. The void outside that window was absolute. No light, no movement, no sound. Just endless blackness. And for one quiet moment, it looked back. Number 9. The Human-Like Figure on the Moon in 1972, during Apollo 17, the last manned mission to the moon, astronaut Eugene Cernan took a photo that decades later would cause an uproar. At first glance, it's just another picture of lunar rock formations, but when zoomed in, something eerie appears, a shape resembling a human figure standing in the distance casting a shadow. The image became known as the Moon Man. Cernan never mentioned it in his logs, but when NASA released the image archives years later, conspiracy theorists noticed the shape immediately. It had what looked like a head, torso, and limbs perfectly upright, with a clear shadow falling behind it. NASA said it was simply a trick of light and shadow, but that didn't stop people from pointing out that its proportions matched a human or maybe something human-like. Other Apollo astronauts had reported strange experiences too. Flickering lights on the horizon, a sense of being watched. Buzz Aldrin once mentioned hearing a strange radio transmission that he couldn't explain, a rhythmic beeping that didn't come from NASA. The figure in the photo has never been officially debunked. Some say it's a pile of rocks, others believe it's a remnant of something ancient, perhaps a marker left long before humans arrived. Whatever it is, it stands there, silent, alone, and perfectly still, on a world that has kept its secrets for billions of years. And maybe that's the most unsettling part, the idea that humanity didn't just visit the moon, we discovered it was already occupied. Number 8. The Space Choir of Gemini 7 During NASA's Gemini 7 mission in 1965, astronauts Frank Borman and Jim Lovell spent two long weeks orbiting Earth in a tiny capsule the size of a car. By the end, they were exhausted, dizzy, and more than ready to come home, but near the end of their mission, they reported something deeply strange. It started as a faint tone, a soft hum that grew louder and clearer. Then came more sounds, uh, high-pitched frequencies, rhythmic pulses, and something that almost resembled voices. Both men heard it. Both described it the same way, a musical choir echoing through their headsets. There was no source. No radio signal coming from Earth. No other spacecraft nearby. NASA engineers were baffled. They checked for interference, static, or overlapping radio frequencies. Nothing matched. The sounds continued on and off for hours, sometimes gentle and harmonic, other times sharp and discordant. Lovell later said it felt like being surrounded by music made by the stars. Some scientists think the sounds came from electromagnetic waves vibrating through the spacecraft systems, something called plasma waves, but others aren't convinced. Similar sounds have been recorded by satellites and later astronauts, yet none of them completely explain the patterns or timing of what Gemini 7 captured. It's a haunting thought, two men floating hundreds of miles above the world, hearing what sounded like an invisible orchestra in the dark. They called it the Space Choir. If space really does sing, it might not be a metaphor. It could be the universe itself vibrating with energy, a cosmic lullaby no one truly understands. Number 7. The Glowing Red Light of Apollo 11 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history in 1969 by landing on the moon, they expected to find rocks, dust, and silence. 
What they didn't expect was a glowing red light that appeared to follow their spacecraft before and during the mission. During the journey to the moon, both Armstrong and Aldrin reported seeing a strange blinking object in the distance. It wasn't the stars, it wasn't sunlight reflecting off debris, it was a steady, moving light, red, then white, then red again, pacing their craft for miles. The astronauts didn't immediately report it to mission control. They knew what would happen if they did. UFO reports could risk their credibility, or worse, ground the mission, so they talked in code instead, asking where the SIVB rocket booster was, trying to check if it could be what they were seeing. NASA replied that the SIVB was thousands of miles away. That meant whatever they were looking at wasn't part of their ship. The men stared at the glowing object until it slowly faded away. Later, after returning home, both Aldrin and Armstrong admitted they'd seen something that didn't make sense. Aldrin described it as a cylinder-shaped object that seemed to pulse with light. NASA eventually explained it as sunlight reflecting off a detached panel from the spacecraft. But many believe the explanation doesn't hold up. The light appeared to move intelligently, following the module for several minutes before disappearing. It was never seen again. In the silence of space, there's no room for tricks of the eye. There's no atmosphere to bend light or distort colors. What you see is what's there. And the thought that something unknown was flying beside humanity's first trip to the moon, that lingers. Maybe it was debris, maybe it was something else entirely watching the moment when a species first reached beyond its own world. Number 6. The Mysterious Knocking in Space In 2003, Chinese astronaut Yang Liwei became China's first man in space. Alone in orbit aboard the Shenzhou 5, he experienced what every astronaut describes as the same chilling silence, the kind of silence where you can hear your own heartbeat echo inside your helmet. Then came a sound that shouldn't exist in space. Yang heard a knock, a single clear metallic tap on the outside of his spacecraft, then another, and another. It sounded like someone was striking the hull with a hammer. He froze, completely still. There was no debris nearby, no mechanical vibration, and no sign of anything moving outside the window. The knocks continued at irregular intervals, not random, but rhythmic, almost like a code. When he returned to Earth, engineers took his report seriously. They hit every part of the spacecraft with tools, trying to recreate the sound. None of their attempts matched it. The material of the craft simply didn't produce that same tone. What made the story even stranger was that other Chinese astronauts later reported hearing the same knocking on their own missions. NASA engineers later suggested it might have been thermal expansion, the metal shell flexing as it heated and cooled in the vacuum, but Yang never agreed with that explanation. It wasn't a creak, he said. It was a knock. It had intention. Imagine sitting completely alone above the Earth, 200 miles from the nearest human being, and hearing something knocking not inside, but from outside. There's no wind, no sound waves, nothing that can carry a knock, yet it was there. It's one of those moments that makes you realize space is not empty, it's just quiet. And sometimes, something in that quiet decides to say hello. Number 5. The UFO Swarm During STS-75 in February 1996, NASA launched the Space Shuttle Columbia for a mission called STS-75. The goal was to test a long 12-mile electrical tether in orbit that could generate power by interacting with Earth's magnetic field. The experiment worked beautifully until it didn't. The tether suddenly snapped, breaking free and drifting into the blackness of space, but what came next became one of the most puzzling mysteries in NASA's history. As the cameras kept rolling, something strange appeared in the footage. Dozens of glowing circular shapes drifted across the screen. They were semi-transparent, shimmering, and seemed to pulse with light. Then more appeared. Soon there were hundreds slowly gliding in the dark, moving in different directions, as if floating in a current no one could see. At first, NASA said they were ice particles reflecting sunlight. But when scientists later analyzed the footage, they noticed something odd Many of these objects seemed to pass behind the 12-mile tether, meaning they were massive and far away, not tiny flakes near the camera lens. To make it even weirder, their movement didn't match simple physics. Some spun, some changed speed, others appeared to hover or drift deliberately. 
This led to wild theories. Some said they were space debris interacting with static electricity. Others believed they could be some kind of plasma-based life form, energy organisms living in the magnetic fields of planets. NASA dismissed all of it as a simple optical illusion, but the footage is still online, and once you see it, it's hard to unsee. The scene looks less like ice floating in space and more like a swarm of something intelligent, coordinated, alive. One astronaut on the mission described the view as looking out into an ocean full of life. And maybe that's what it was. A brief, haunting glimpse of something that wasn't supposed to be there. Number four, the Space Angels of Salyut 7. Of all the strange events reported in orbit, this one might be the most surreal. In July 1984, six Soviet cosmonauts aboard Salyut 7 saw what they described as giant beings of light. The crew had just completed a long repair mission and were exhausted. Then, suddenly, the station filled with a blinding orange glow. When they looked out the window, they saw seven enormous figures floating alongside the spacecraft. Each one looked human, but luminous, radiant, and surrounded by a soft mist. They had wings. Wings that stretched for miles. The cosmonauts described the figures as smiling peacefully, radiating warmth and calm. The vision lasted about 10 minutes. When it disappeared, the men sat in stunned silence. Soviet officials immediately classified the report, labeling it as psychological stress, but the same crew later swore under oath they had all seen it and that it was no illusion. Skeptics claim it was sunlight reflecting off ice crystals. Others think it was a shared hallucination caused by fatigue. But for those six men, it was real. One later said, they weren't threatening, they were welcoming. Whatever they saw that day, one thing's certain. No human has ever looked out into the vast, endless dark of space and seen something like that again. Maybe the angels of space show themselves only when we're far enough from home to truly need them. Number three, the phantom lights of Apollo 11. During the first ever journey to the moon, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin faced something nobody expected. Light flashes that appeared behind their eyelids. Even when they closed their eyes, Bursts of color, white, blue, and sometimes golden, danced in the darkness. At first, they thought they were hallucinating, but it kept happening, sometimes several times an hour. The astronauts joked about it over the radio, but deep down it worried them. No one knew if it was dangerous. NASA eventually confirmed it wasn't a hallucination. It was the universe itself. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling near light speed, slamming into their optic nerves. The flashes were their brains reacting to invisible bullets from deep space. Other astronauts reported seeing them too, some describing it like lightning from inside your skull. One even said he saw stars painted across the darkness behind my eyes. It's one of those space experiences that sounds poetic until you realize how horrifying it really is. These same particles can damage DNA and cause radiation sickness, so every time they saw a flash, it was a reminder that space wasn't just beautiful, it was quietly attacking them. In the end, those lights became part of the journey. The men learned to live with them, falling asleep under invisible cosmic storms, dreaming under radiation. Number two, the Space Choir Incident. In 1984, a team of Soviet cosmonauts aboard Salyut 7 began hearing something impossible. It started faintly soft, melodic sounds echoing through the metal hull of their space station. At first, they thought it was static or a malfunctioning radio, but as they listened closer, they realized it sounded like singing, it wasn't mechanical noise, it was a harmony. Deep voices like a distant choir resonated through the walls, calm, haunting, and strangely peaceful. The sound filled the cabin for several minutes before fading away, leaving the crew staring at each other in disbelief. Mission Control dismissed it as interference from radio waves bouncing off the ionosphere, but the cosmonauts swore the music came from inside the station. And then, a few days later, it returned louder, clearer, almost as if it were answering them. One cosmonaut described it as the most beautiful and terrifying sound I've ever heard. Years later, Western astronauts quietly admitted to hearing similar things. Unexplained tones, harmonics, and even faint voices during long silences in orbit. Scientists have suggested the brain sometimes creates sound illusions in response to sensory deprivation. 
but the men who were there insist it wasn't in their heads. It felt real, one said. It felt like someone was out there singing to us, whether it was a trick of the mind, a radio echo, or something far stranger. That moment left a mark. Because imagine drifting in endless darkness and suddenly hearing something sing. Number one, the glowing jellyfish UFO. In 1985, astronaut Jake Garn was aboard the space shuttle Discovery when something outside caught his eye. Something glowing, drifting, and eerily alive. It wasn't a star, and it wasn't debris. It looked like a giant jellyfish made of pure light. Its translucent body pulsed softly, expanding and contracting as if it were breathing. The color shifted from a deep ocean blue to a warm green, then back again, as it floated just beyond the shuttle. The crew gathered at the window, speechless. They tried to make sense of it. Maybe it was exhaust gas illuminated by sunlight, or frozen fuel particles, but it didn't behave like either. It moved deliberately as if it had a mind of its own, pacing the shuttle for several minutes before fading away into the blackness. Back on Earth, NASA analysts labeled it an ionized gas cloud, the result of particles released by the shuttle's engines. That's a tidy explanation, except for one thing. The phenomenon kept happening. Astronauts on later missions described similar glowing orbs that appeared to watch them from afar. Even Soviet cosmonauts reported plasma entities following their crafts for miles. Some scientists now think these sightings could be caused by charged particles interacting with magnetic fields around spacecraft, but others, especially those who've actually seen it, say it felt too intentional. One veteran astronaut even said it felt like being studied, maybe it really was plasma, or Maybe something out there was curious about us, floating close enough to be seen, yet too strange to ever be understood. Either way, the image of a glowing, breathing light silently keeping pace with a human shuttle is haunting, because in space, when something stares back at you, there's nowhere to run. Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.